welcome back to Lee's Hall, home of the Cedar Crest Falcons. But tonight will be home of two and five Penn State Brandywine as they face six and four Penn State Lehigh Valley. Hello, everyone. I'm Colin Strell. I'm here with my partner Derek Moore. Derek, can I get some thoughts of the first half or for the for the game coming up? You know, I think tonight it's going to be a battle of who has more of the pressure legs tonight. That's for sure tonight, Colin. And honestly, what I think tonight's going to come down to if Penn State Lehigh Valley can overcome the loss of the two leading scorers. No Nas. Ruhani or Nas Scott tonight and those are two guys that create a kind of energy of that for this team and I asked coach Ray Edwards that when he said both of them will be out and not playing tonight he goes it's just about recreating that energy and recreating that focus because both do a lot for this team not just on the score sheet so overcoming those two will be a tremendous task for this team but they're more than capable of doing it. And how about for Brandywine? What are the keys for them? What did the coach say to you? Stopping, Nick Burke said to me, you know, stopping them in transition. Penn State, Lehigh Valley, this men's team is such a great team in transition. So stopping them in transition will be key for them tonight. That's for sure tonight, Colin. Brandywine 2-5, and five, Lehigh Valley 6-4. and four. What are the, like, what exactly does Lehigh Valley do that makes them so successful? And what can they do against Brandywine to really just nail that in the coffin? You know, I think, honestly, just keep your composure. You know, this team is very passionate, and that's a good thing. And then they have trust, a tremendous culture compared to last season, and they're looking to continue that. They started off 5-0, a little bit of a skids here and there, but they're looking to bounce back tonight, that's for sure, against a, a pretty line team that they're more than capable of beating them tonight. So this is what this game's going to come down to. Just stick to your game plan, knock down shots, overcome this, overcome the loss of Nascot and Nasrihani. Look for Arnell Lewis to step up tonight in a big way on the stat sheet and as a leader of this team and create your own energy, finding that healthy balance and honestly stay out of foul trouble tonight and when fouls are not, calls are not going your way, keep your composure. This is Penn State Lehigh Valley Athletics presented by D11sports.com. We're going to take a look at starting lineups here for Penn State Brandywine, Devon Jones, A.J. Dreger, Yinks Itabai, Jonta Dunson and Colin Hockenbrock. And for Penn State Lehigh Valley, it will be Arnell Lewis, Emmanuel Akabo, Tommy Bennett, Raheem Hubbard, and Jaden Copper. Coach Ray Edwards in his fourth season at the helm of Penn State Lehigh Valley will take on Coach Nick Burke in his first season with Brandywine. Lehigh Valley averaging 83 points a game as a team, shooting 46% from the field, 27% from three, 61% from the line, 40 rebounds a game and 15 assists per game. And on the opposite side, Nick Burke's squad averaging 66 points per game, 40% from the field, 23% from three, 60% from the charity stripe, 39 rebounds and 10 assists per game. So pretty similar with both teams in terms of rebounds and assists and shooting splits, but it really is that points per game difference that really separates the High Valley from Brandywine. Luckily for Brandywine, Nas Scott and Najihani, two of their leading scorers are out tonight, so they catch a little bit of a break, but this Penn State Lehigh Valley men's team really needs to start fast and open things up for a lot of their shooters tonight for them to overcome those two losses. So, but Brandywine also coming on a road, long road trip, a long bus trip up here. They also need to look start fashion, carry a lot of momentum into tonight. As you mentioned, Nas Scott, no Nas Scott or Nas Ruhani for Coach Edwards. Nas Scott, senior guard from Philly, averaging 17 points a game this season. And on the other side, Nas Ruhani, another guard, freshman from Brooklyn, averaging 25 points and seven rebounds a game. So a lot of production they will be missing. Lehigh Valley will have to be versatile and have to have that ability to respond to some adversity missing their two leading scorers. Not just their leading scorers, but a lot of guys that bring a ton to this team. Energy. You know, Nas Scott can bring the house down a few times with his dunks and just creates a big spark for this Penn State Lehigh Valley men's team. And for Brandywine, they're fully healthy tonight. Their two leading scorers, Colin Hockenbrock, Senior guard slash forward from Wilmington, Delaware, averaging 16 points and 10 rebounds. And Jonta Dunson, a senior guard from Philly, averaging 13 points and 6 rebounds. We're live from the Lees Hall on the campus of Cedar Crest College. Home of the Falcons, but we're here for Penn State Lehigh Valley Athletics presented by D11sports.com.
Brandy Wine comes in on a two game losing streak and they sit at two and five on the season. Last time out lost 71 to 68 to Penn State to Boy on December 2nd. And for Penn State, Lehigh Valley, they're also on a two game losing streak, sit at six and four. And on December 4th, they took a loss 107 to 88 at Cairn University. Both teams looking for a bounce back. Penn State Lehigh Valley looking to get back in the winning ways. And Penn State Brandywine looking to continue to claw to that 500 mark on the season. Three seniors and two freshmen in the starting lineup tonight for Penn State Lehigh Valley. Three seniors and two sophomores for Brandywine. Very experienced group of players on both sides in the starting lineup for both coaches. How is that experience going to help uh, Penn State Brandywine as they have a little bit of an edge with uh, Penn State Lehigh Valley missing their obviously senior leader? Well, when they're missing, like I mentioned, they're missing their two main scores. I don't think it's much of an edge, much of an edge, because I mean, this year is a lot different compared to last year for Penn State Lehigh Valley. You know, their culture is a lot different. The way they go about things is a lot different compared to a year ago. There's a lot more energy heading into the games now for Penn State Lehigh Valley on the men's side of things, and that's a good job by Coach Ray Edwards doing his thing in the off season by bringing culture guys and team guys and being together. You know, I mean, this program has taken step and step year by year under Coach Edwards and his coaching staff, just bringing in the right group of guys, right group of coaches, assistant coaches, and they continue to just find more ways to improve game to game and year by year. And Penn State Lehigh Valley will look to lean on Arnell Lewis, a senior guard from Salisbury, Maryland, averaging 17 points a game this season. We're gonna get underhead Penn State Lehigh Valley in white, Penn State Brandywine in blue. Jaden Copper, will sit in the circle for Lehigh Valley along with Colin Hockenbrock for Penn State Brandywine. The opening tip won by Lehigh Valley and we are underway from Lee Scott from Lee's Hall. Penn State Lehigh Valley will start with it. There's a three ball. No good, rebound, fought for down low and put back up and in by Jaden Copper, a freshman forward from Easton, Maryland. And here comes Penn State Brandywine the other way. The Yanks at the Bayou will start with it. Gives it to Colin Hockenbrock, their leading scorer. Nice crossover, but cannot finish. Here comes Arnell Lewis the other way. Hubbard kicks outside for a three-pointer. That shot no good. And Copper fighting down low again with the second offensive putback and a quick timeout called by Penn State Brandywine. Yeah, Nick Burke did not like that first 40, 54 seconds headed into a very quick timeout, but good job by Penn State Lehigh Valley starting fast. Jaden Copper averaging nine rebounds a game, making his 11th start in Penn State Lehigh Valley's 11th game. See, it was as he's big in every game that they've played so far, but especially today, as we've mentioned with the loss of Nas Scott and Nas Rouhani. Nine rebounds per game on the season, two today, two offensive rebounds and two putbacks for four quick points. As you mentioned, 54 seconds into the game is our first timeout for Brandywine. Seventeen point difference in average for both these squads. One sitting at two and five, the other sitting at six and four. The Yanks will bring it up. Gives it over to AJ Dreger. He's guarded closely by Tommy Bennett. Dreger to Hockenbrock. Hockenbrock. There's a corner three. 
shot was a little bit too strong. Rebound to Copper. Here comes Penn State Lehigh Valley the other way with Arnell Lewis. Lewis looks to drive, kicks out. There's a three from Bennett. It's short. Copper, another offensive rebound and put back. His third offensive rebound of the game is fourth total, and he has all six of Lehigh Valley's points to start this one. Hockingbrock looking to go quick in the corner. Dreger, there's a three ball. He's fouled and won. A.J. Dreger, the sophomore guard from Newtown Square, Pennsylvania, with the three-pointer and one and a chance at a four-point play. Beautiful kick out by Hockenbrock. And just a beautiful wing three by A.J. Dreger, and he will go to the line. You mentioned it, Colin. What a find by Hockenbrock there just to find him open on the, beyond the wing for A.J. Dreger. Assist to Jonta Dunson, who Hagenbrock found in the corner, who then kicked it over to Dreger. Nice passing by Penn State. Brandywine is in one possession. They make it a one possession game after trailing by six. Chance to make it a two point game. Dreger with the first free throw for either side, and he converts. And it's six to four early. And Arnell Lewis will bring it up for Penn State Lehigh Valley. Lewis guarded closely by Jaden Kelly. Swings it over to Bennett. Bennett over to Akapu. Lewis on the wing. Lewis looking to drive to his left. Puts it up with the one-hander. It's no good. Rebound to Brandywine and Dreger has it. Dreger will kick over to Kelly who looks to push it. Kelly finds Dunson. Dunson looking to drive. Dreger in the corner, there's a three ball, and it's good. A.J. Dreger with his second three ball of the game, and this one from the corner. And Penn State Brandywine takes the lead, seven to six. Akabu over to the corner to Hubbard. Bennett looking. Bennett back out to Hubbard. On the wing, has Lewis to his left, looks to drive inside, spin move, turnaround jumper, no good. Rebound, won by Akabu, but he cannot finish the putback. And Randy Wine looks to come the other way. They lead 7-6, to six, taking their first lead on an A.J. Dreger 3 as he has 7 points early. And here's the drive inside by Dunson, his shot no good. And here comes Arnell Lewis for Penn State Lehigh Valley. Lewis screened by Copper. Over to Hubbard. No, no. Copper calling for it inside. Hubbard will fire it to the outside. Here's the drive inside. Shot no good by Akabu. And here comes Brandywine the other way. Itiabe gives it to John to Dunson. Dunson, Kelly looking to drive. And he can't finish. Rebound, Jaden Copper. Copper to Arnell Lewis. Lewis driving in and finishes. Arnell Lewis, the senior guard. And another timeout by Brandywine, their second of the game. And Derek, four minutes in. What do you think? Well, Arnell Lewis had a good drive to finish that, just going down the floor and just finishing, but... I mean, so far it's just been the Jaden Cooper versus A.J. Drager show right now. Both those guys started off very quick for both their squads. Drager with a couple of threes. Jaden Copper with a couple of putbacks. A lot of four quick rebounds for him. So just look for both those guys. Just continue to pick their spots and go at it or battle all day long. And one of the A.J. Drager three-pointers was changed to a two-pointer. And the lead is 8-6 to six for Lehigh Valley, as you mentioned. Jaden Copper, five rebounds already, has played amazingly in a Copper v. Dreger show so far to start off this one. Brandywine will bring it up. Devon Jones has it. Over to Hockenbrock. Hands it off to Jamar Wright. Hockenbrock looking to drive, spin, turnaround, jumper, and we are tied. Got a beautiful looking bucket for Colin Hockenbrock. Senior from 
Willington, Delaware. And here comes Arnell Lewis. Lewis driving inside, finishing strong with the right hand. And Lehigh Valley takes the lead once again. Anyone looking for a response? Jones over to Dylan Jones. Devon Jones looking to drive, kicks it out to Jamar Wright. He drives inside, going up with the right, and he is fouled. In the replay here, Devon Jones thought three, drove inside, kicked it to the wing. And he went to work, driving inside, drawing the foul on Arthur Jones. Jamar Wright's first free throw is good. There's a 10-9 game. Just under five minutes into this one. And the second free throw is no good. He goes one of two from the line. Here comes Arnell Lewis on the wing, guarded by Kelly. Lewis over to Jones. Inside, there's the jumper by Tommy Bennett. It's no good. Here comes Kelly the other way for Brandywine. Hockenbrock has it on the wing. Gets it back over to Kelly. Kelly, nice junior guard from Philadelphia. Hands it over to Hockenbrock, driving inside. There's a corner triple for Brandywine. It's good. Dylan Jones, a junior forward, knocking it down. And Lewis almost loses it. Copper wins it back. Lewis over to Hubbard, driving inside. Can't get it to go. Copper can't track down the rebound. And here comes Brandywine the other way. J Javon Nelson hands to Hockenbrock. Back to Nelson. There's a three ball. It's a little too strong. Offensive rebound won by Jones. And Hockenbrock will reset. He pulls a three this time and knocks it down. Colin Hockenbrock putting Penn State Brandywine up five. And wide open was Jones. He's denied by Hockenbrock. Take that Hubbard. Three balls. Uh, falling down early for this Brandywine squad. Some subs in for Coach Nick Burke in his first season at the helm of Brandywine. So Jaden Kelly will bring it up. He has Javon Nelson to his left, who now cuts over to being on his right. Kelly will find Dunson. Nelson, Dunson in the corner, driving on the baseline. He's stopped by Copper, so he'll go out. He pulls a jumper in Copper's face. Can't get it to go. Rebound fought for, and it was Lilland Hargrau who ends up in the stands. As the ball goes out of bounds and will stay with Brandywine. Seven minutes into this one, it's 15 to 10. Brandywine with the lead. Hockenbrock with five. Dreger with six. There's a Dreger three. He's fouled. And Coach Ray Edwards cannot believe the call. But Dreger goes to the line. Dreger kicked over to Dunson, who handed it back to him. And he draws the, the foul and will get three free throw opportunities. Drilled his first one. And knocks down the second one to expand the lead to two possessions, or to six for Brandywine. Second one goes for Dreger. Now has eight points on the game. And he converts all three. Nine points early for AJ Dreger, who averages nine points a game. Taking his sixth start of the season. Here 
here comes Penn State Lehigh Valley the other way. Arnell Lewis. 13 minutes on the clock in the first half. Kicks over to Jones. Jones guarded by Hockenbrock. That pass almost stolen by Copper wins it and drives inside and is fouled. Copper still being aggressive, looking to attack when he needs needs to. Jaden Copper will go to the line, shoot it two. See, drives inside, looking to finish with the right hand, can't get it to go. Brandywine leads by eight. Make that seven as Copper knocks down the first free throw. Jaden Copper. Over five rebounds and five points to start this game. Big start to the half for the freshman forward from Easton, Maryland. Making his 11th start of the season. He knocks down both. It's an 18 to 12 ball game with 12.56 left in the half. And Jaden Kelly will bring it up as Hockenbrock to his right. He looks to drive. Dreger kicks out to Hockenbrock. He's knocked down a three so far. Hockenbrock. Step back, Jay is no good. Rebound to Copper. His seventh board of the game already. And here comes Arnell Lewis. Nice crossover drive. Teardrop is good. Arnell Lewis with a pretty move to get to the basket and finishes with the with right hand. Jaden Kelly will bring it up. Kicks over to AJ Dreger. Nine points already on the game. Kelly. There's a three ball. It's good. Dylan Jones is knocking it down. And it's a seven point lead. Brandywine leads by a touchdown. And here comes Arnell Lewis with the right and finishes. Arnell Lewis with back-to-back -back buckets for Penn State Lehigh Valley. And here comes Brandywine with Colin Hockenbrock. Inside the Dreger. Dreger's turnaround jumper is too strong. Rebound to Copper, his eighth of the game. And here comes Arnell Lewis the other way. He pulls a three. He check. And it's short off the front of the rim. Rebound goes to Brandywine. Hockenbrock will bring it up. Hockenbrock, Nelson. Between the legs. Hands to Hockenbrock. Thought three. Looks to drive inside. Instead, his step back J is good as it rolls up and in. Nice shooter's touch from Colin Hockenbrock. And Brandywine's lead goes to seven again. Hargrove has it inside the copper. Shot is no good. Rebound to Dreger. Here comes Jaden Kelly over to A.J. Dreger at the top of the key. Dreger leads all scores with nine so far. Kelly, Hockenbrock, whistle is blown. And a defensive foul on Penn State Lehigh Valley. And some subs will come in for Coach Edwards, Emmanuel Akabu, and Alexander Newkirk into the game for the first time. And Devon Allen will inbound, or Devon Jones will inbound for Penn State Brandywine. And the whistle is blown. And we will reset. Itiabe has it, hands it to Jones inside. Turnaround shot by Dunson is no good. He tracks on his own rebound though. Has it in the corner, kicks over out to Itiabe. Itiabe looking to drive. Pull up jumper is good, he knocks it down. Good shooting tonight so far for Brandywine. Picking and choosing their spots and getting them to go. Yanks Itiabe knocking down the pull up jumper. Brandywine leads by nine. That's there's a drive inside. I think that's seven. And here comes Devon Jones the other way. Jones finds Dylan Jones. 
There's a three ball. And Yanks can't get it to go. Offensive re or defensive rebound to Arnell Lewis, who looks to push. He's guarded by Jamar Wright. Lewis has Jones to his right. Kicks to the corner. There's a three by Hargrove. It's no good. And the whistle blown. Foul on Jamar Wright. Alex! Alex! E! E! And Brandywine will have offensive possession. 9.21 left in the half. Lehigh Valley has offensive possession. There's a three ball from Lewis. It's no good. Here comes Devon Jones the other way. Hands it over to Dunson. Back to Jones. Has it to Itiabe. Dunson looking to drive, turn around, and puts it up and home. And it is a nine point lead for Penn State Brandywine. Got to get a bucket here. Coach Edwards might call a timeout. Next defensive, or next stoppage. Jaden Copper goes to the scorer's table and will check in. Jones looking to drive and draws contact and will go to the line. Arthur Josiah Jones. The junior guard for Tobihana, Pennsylvania. Will go to the line. Gets fouled by number 13, Jonta Dunson. First free throw, no good for Jones. Jaden Copper will come back in. And for Brandywine, AJ Dreger back in. John, uh, Alexander Newkirk off for Penn State Lehigh Valley. Josiah Jones averaging two points a game in his ninth game off the bench this season for Coach Edwards as he knocks down the first free throw. Knocks down the second free throw. He's one of two from the line. There's a 10-point lead for Penn State Brandywine. They have a 27 to 17 lead with 8.38 left in the first half. Pretty much doing, like I mentioned, just doing a good job of picking and choosing the shots and getting open. I think what Penn State Lehigh Valley needs to do is just get out on some of their open shooters and make, make some difficult looks for them, that's for sure, because that's one thing they have been lacking is just getting out on that defensive shooting, on their shooters defensively. This is D11 Sports' second year covering Lehigh, Penn State Lehigh Valley athletics. Coach Ray Edwards in his fourth season at the helm of Penn State Lehigh Valley, talking to his troops. On the other side, it's Coach Nick Burke in his first season. Not off to a great start, two and five and on a two game losing streak, but they look to bounce back as they lead by 10. Argro, Jones, Lewis, Akabu, and Copper will start off for Coach Edwards. On the other side for Brandywine, it's Dreger, Hockenbrock, Dunson, Kelly, and Nelson. Nelson will bring it up as Kelly to his left. Dreger in the corner to his right. Dreger will cut across. Kelly has it inside to Dunson. And a travel called on John to Dunson. Senior guard from Philly averaging 13 points a game this season, six rebounds. Arnell Lewis will kick it over to Hargrove. Lewis has it. Guarded by Kelly, screen coming from Copper. Lewis over to Akabu. Back to Hargrove. Hargrove driving, going up with it. Can't get it to go. Copper, another offensive rebound. Can't get that put back to go. 
Copper already with his ninth rebound of the game. She pokes that one away. He goes on the deck, but Brandywine wins it back. Dreger a three, no good. Rebound to Hockenbrock, driving inside. Kicks out to Kelly. Hockenbrock ran into a brick wall there, so he had to pass out of it. Here's Dreger, a three. Can't get that one to go. This time, Akabu comes down with it, and Penn State Lehigh Valley wins possession back. Here comes Lewis the other way. Arnell Lewis pull up jumper. No good, rebound to AJ Dreger. Here comes Jaden Kelly the other way. He's guarded by Hargrove. Dreger has the top of the key, two of four from beyond the arc tonight. Here's a drive inside. And that jumper is good by Jonathan Dunson. It's now a 12 point lead for Penn State Brandywine with just under seven minutes left to go in the first half. Arnell Lewis has it at the top of the key, guarded by Jaden Kelly. Lewis throws it away to Hockenbrock. Here comes Hockenbrock the other way, drives inside and finishes with the right hand. Colin Hockenbrock puts Penn State Brandywine up 31 to 17. They lead by 14 points. And that ball stolen by Dunson, but will go out of bounds on Brandywine. Lehigh Valley will retain possession. Subs coming on for Coach Edwards. Argro and Jones off. Penn State Lehigh Valley needs to get something going offensively. It's struggling a little bit the past few possessions and a little bit of a drought. Desperate yeah. need of a bucket. And Arnell Lewis might be the guy to get that as that ball is thrown away. Oh, be tough. But will be Lehigh Valley ball. That's up, Tom. Mate, that will be Brandywine ball. 6.20 left in the first half. Brandywine leads by 14 as they have a 31 to 17 lead over the home Penn State Lehigh Valley. Both teams trying to stop a two game losing skid. Looking to drive inside was Itiabe and the whistle is blown. Foul on Tommy Bennett, senior guard from Bethlehem and his sixth game of the season. And in for the first time is Xavier Noble, a junior guard from Patterson, New Jersey. And Coach Edwards is gonna have to find some different combinations tonight, missing his two leading scorers to try to get into this game. Jones has it inside the Hockenbrock, who will lose it, and Lewis is fouled. So Raheem Hubbard will inbound to Arnell Lewis, who got the steal in the last possession. 6 minutes left there. Can I get some thoughts? You know, I just think Penn State Lehigh Valley is struggling to make up for some of the scoring like you mentioned missing the two leading scores, but they need to find answers quick, especially right now because before you know it you can be down even more even more than more than 14 points. So Arnell Lewis looking to stop the bleeding a little bit. He was fouled. It was on the floor though, so it will not be two free throws. So Lewis will instead inbound it. He fires, it's knocked away by Hockenbrock. But Penn State Lehigh Valley retains. Lewis will drive inside again, and he loses out of bounds. And again will be Penn State Lehigh Valley ball. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Lewis will inbound once again. Third opportunity for Penn State Lehigh Valley. They kick up top to Raheem Hubbard. Lewis will pull another three. Too strong and off. And here comes Brandywine the other way with Jamar Wright. Jones, a senior guard, averaging five points a game from Philadelphia. He hands off to Hockenbrock, looking to drive inside. Kicks over to Itiabe. Back to Hockenbrock, has under 10 on the shot clock. Hockenbrock looking to drive inside. Spin, turnaround, jumper is too strong. Rebound won by Arnell Lewis. And here comes Penn State Lehigh Valley the other way. Lewis looking to push it. 
and the whistle is blown as Raheem no, Hubbard gets no. fouled. Look here on the replay, Arnell Lewis, nice move to get by Hockenbrock. Finds Hubbard inside, he's fouled. Hockenbrock got back though and was ready to swat that as he touches high on the glass. But Hubbard will take two here, he missed the first one. Score stays at 31 to 17. Hockenbrock will come off as will Jamar Wright. Second free throw opportunity from Raheem Hubbard. He knocks it down and it's 31, 32 to 17. 31 to 18. Brandywine with the lead. Here's the kick over. Nelson to Kelly in the corner. Kelly inside. Nelson putting it up. The rebound. Lewis. Possession goes to Lehigh Valley. Arnell Lewis looking to drive. Goes up with it and cannot get it to go in. Tracked down by Kabu. He's looking to drive. He puts it up and is fouled. Nakabu will shoot two. He knocks down the first one. It's 31 to 19, 12 point lead for Brandywine, or 12 point deficit for Penn State Lehigh Valley, whichever way you would like to look at it. Good job by Penn State Lehigh Valley. Just getting into the line the past few possessions. Just being more aggressive, too. Second one is no good, so the score remains a 12-point difference. Here comes Jaden Kelly the other way. Just under 4.30 left in the first half. Dunson looking to drive inside. He kicks it out. Kelly, a deep three ball. Can't get it to go. Rebound one by Dylan Jones and he puts it back up and in and it's 33 to 19 now. Arnell Lewis, Coach Edwards looking for a response from his team. They trail 33 to 19 with just under four minutes remaining in the half. Akabu at the top of the key, kicks to the corner. Driving inside is Noble, he puts it up, it's no good. Rebound won by Brandywine. Here they come the other way. He has Dunson, Dunson has Dreger to his left. Kelly to his right, made that Nelson to his right. He drives, hands to Kelly. Back to Dunson in the baseline, driving. Fires up to the top of the key to Nelson, who goes inside. His one-hander is no good. Rebound to Copper, who goes over 10 boards on the game. Out, no, lead. Nine, nine. Lewis driving inside, he is fouled. Lonnie Reed Perez will look to check in for Penn State Lehigh Valley as well as Lilland Hargrove. Jaden Copper will come off. As we mentioned, over the double digits and rebounds already in this first half. Shot by Lewis, knocking him down. Big three minutes and 19 seconds. You know, if you're Penn State Lehigh Valley, you just gotta create a run right now. Go into the second half with some momentum. So get some stops, find out where the shooters are spacing on the floor. Don't let Drager beat you, too. He's done such a good job and he can heat up at any minute. Both good free. job of keeping him in check the past few possessions. Both free throws knocked down. Lead is a 12 for Brandywine. Dreger has it at the top of the key. Kicks over. Nice passing by Brandywine as Kelly looks to drive. It's Ballins back up with Dreger. Under three on the shot clock. There's a three. It's no good. And Hockenbrock can't track it out of bounds. 
and a full 30 second shot clock used by Brandywine results in nothing. So here comes Lehigh Valley the other way. A little under three minutes left in this first half. Brandywine has come in and taken a commanding lead. 12 points over Lehigh Valley. Arnell Lewis looks to answer and he does. Arnell Lewis with a huge triple to cut the lead to single digits. Kelly will bring it up. Inside to Dunson, looking to drive. Nice spin. Can't put it up, but he taps it out, and it's one back. And it ends up in Kelly's hands, who will give it over to Dunson. Under two remaining in the half now. There's a three ball. It's no good. Jamar Wright can't get it to go. And here comes Arnell Lewis. Lewis driving inside, gets it tapped away and stolen by Dreger. And Jaden Kelly will come the other way. Dreger sitting at nine points, kick over. He thought three for a moment, looks to drive. Back over to Kelly. He'll drive this time, puts it up and in. Jaden Kelly going strong to the basket and finishing. It's 35 to 24, Brandywine now. Under a minute 30 to play in this half. Penn State Lehigh Valley looking to gain some momentum going into the half, even though they trail big. Able to save it from being a half-court violation. Under 10 on the shot clock to go. Look at the drive inside, kick out to the corner. Akubu driving inside. He gets blocked by Hockenbrock. And it will go out of bounds. Penn State Lehigh Valley will retain three seconds on the shot clock. Three seconds. Lewis looking for something inside the copper. Hargro, a shot at the buzzer. It's no good. And a shot clock violation as he did not get it off. And another Penn State Lehigh Valley turnover as we now are under a minute to play in the half. 53 and a bit of change. And here comes Jaden Kelly. Kelly looking for anything. Kicks inside to Dunson who drives on Copper. Dunson puts it up and gets fouled. So closely guarded by Jaden Copper who commits the foul. Like the, I'd like to see Penn State Lehigh Valley go back to inside to Jaden Copper. They have a lot of they had a lot of success early on in the game when he was they were going inside to him. This game has gotten a quickly out of hand for Penn State Lehigh Valley as Brandywine has stormed in with an 11 point lead. First free throw from Dunson's no good though. 41 seconds left in the half. Some subs in. Dreger off. Jones on. Devon Jones. And Dunson with a chance to make it a 12 point lead. And he does just that. 36 to 24 now. And Raheem Hubbard will inbound. Has Arnell Lewis and Leland Hargrove. Lex to go to Arnell Lewis. About 10 seconds separate the game and the shot clock. Here's a kick into the corner, looking to drive back out to Hargrove. His three ball is good. Leland Hargrove knocking it down and makes it a nine point game. Shot clock goes dark for Brandywine. Here's the kick over to the wing. Hockenbrock inside, back out. There's a top of the key three. It's no good. Flying in for the offensive rebound. Was Jamar right? He can't get it to go. Okay, Two seconds up. off. This good if it goes. And it's no good from Lillen Hargrove. And Penn State Lehigh Valley will go into the half trailing 36 to 27 over Penn State Brandywine. And we will send it to Derek Moore, who has coach Ray Edwards. Uh, 
36-26, Penn State Lehigh Valley trailing at halftime. Coach, what are some of your first half thoughts? It's a hectic game, you know, down two starters. Guys are just playing hard, and we're kind of figuring out some kinks with some new guys playing some more extended minutes, but I feel good. I think we're in a good position right now. What do you think the energy level is right now with this team? You know, you're missing two of your leading scorers and Nas Rouhani and Nas Stott right now. How do you think this team has responded to their absence? I mean, they're just playing hard. Guys are playing hard. They're getting into new minutes and new roles, and I think, you know, it takes a little time to get through it and kind of learn, but, you know, they're grinding. They're grinding. It's gotten in the position to, you know, get a chance to win at the end here. Thanks, Coach. Good luck in the second half. Appreciate it. Colin, back to you. And thank you, Derek. We're going to take a quick break for the half. Score being... Penn State Brandywine 36, Penn State Lehigh Valley 27. This is Penn State Lehigh Valley Basketball presented by D11sports.com.
and we're going to send it to Derek Maurer, who has Coach Khalil. Down here with women's head coach, Coach Lori Khalil. Coach, good start to your season so far. What has stood out to you this season amongst your group? Uh, they're just really good teamwork and energy that they bring. Um, it's, it's, really, it's really fun to be a part of. We mentioned what you were going to say to your team as they part for the holiday break. What is going to be your message to your group of players? Yeah, I said that I'm, I'm super proud of them. I want them to enjoy this. I want them to heal, and, and when we get back, we got to get back after it. Obviously, the second half of the season, so I want you to describe this team in three words. Relentless, competitive, and um, goofy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, they're fun. They're a fun group. They're a fun group. The Newman sisters have been with you for quite a few years now. Describe what they are like for this team and what they bring to it. Tremendous energy on both ends of the court, defense, offense. Sure. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, Nia! Nyla! Are we still live? Yeah. Okay, I just want to... Um, We're going to bring on the Newman sisters, yeah. yeah. He, he, asked, he asked about you guys, and I said, all right, let me get them on camera. So what are you guys' first half thoughts of your season as you guys are partying for holiday break now? Um, I think our team chemistry has built really well, and the fact that we're able to work together on the court and off the court has really helped us a lot with our wins. Um, we've honestly been just rocking and rolling. We've gotten to the groove of things. Everybody's trying to, starting to fall into place, and everybody knows what each other does. So we're just ready for the rest of the season. Appreciate it. Co will, you, will you ask me about what they bring to the table? Yeah. What? No, they take no plays off. They're the most relentless players I've ever, consistent relentless players I've ever coached, both of them. There is not a single play, even in practice, that they take off every day. I even I said that. That every day they come in to practice and they are, they just have a motor, a nonstop motor and, and, um, and they're great students and they're great people in addition to being great basketball players. So they bring a lot to the table. Thanks guys, we're going to throw it back to Colin and we'll have the men's edition coming back up at the end of the break. Colin, back to you. Thank you, Derek. We're going to send it away for another quick break. Reminder, the score is Penn State Brennywine 36, Penn State Lehigh Valley 27. And again, this is Penn State Lehigh Valley basketball presented by D11sports.com.
Hello and welcome back to Lee's Hall, the normal home of Cedar Crest Falcons. But today will be the host of a matchup between 2-5 and five, Penn State Brandywine as they take on 6-4 and four, Penn State Lehigh Valley. Brandywine leads 36-27 to 27. going into the start of the second half. I'm here with Derek Moore. My name's Colin Strella. Derek, can I get some thoughts going into this second half? You know, first half thoughts, you know, I think Penn State Lehigh Valley got off to a quick start. They were attacking the paint early on and honestly ever since they were attacking inside the paint with those early on possessions they only had six other points inside the paint look for them to go back inside the paint in the second half and assert themselves in there some of their mid-range and threes aren't falling on the other side of things brandywine has done a good job of knocking down the threes aj drager with nine points and then Jaden, uh excuse me Jaden kelly with or no Dion, dylan jones with eight points. So they've done a good job of really stepping up on the scoring sheet, along with Colin Hockenbrock's nine points as well. But what has really stood out to me is just that fast break points. That Penn State has zero fast break points. So hats off to Brandywine for taking away the transition offense from Penn State Lehigh Valley. One of their biggest strengths offensively and strengths as a team, however. And then points off the bench, 11 to four, Brandywine has has the advantage there, but one of the biggest things that's surprised me so far, Penn State, Lehigh Valley has zero turnovers. Zero turnovers. Look for that to continue opposed to Bernie Wines 5. They just need to get their putbacks in to get back into this, but they're taking really good care of the basketball, that's for sure tonight. And a big thing for Penn State Lehigh Valley, 12 rebounds from Jaden Cooper. 12 rebounds, eight points has been huge for them offensively and defensively with a uh, four offensive rebounds leading all rebounders. And on the other side, Hockenbrock and Dreger knocking down three pointers for Brandywine. And Dylan Jones two of three from beyond the arc, the three point shooting. They're shooting 33% from three, 75% from the line compared to the I Valley's 22% from three and 70% from the line. So to get back in this one, Derek, Penn State Lehigh Valley will need to be able to shoot the rock better. It's, a, it's really been close with them in almost every other statistic. Yeah, that's what it just comes down to. So Penn State Lehigh Valley just needs to knock down shots. But other than that, they're doing a pretty good job of, you know, besides second chance points and fast break points, right now they, they're, leading in, they're leading on most categories right now. Rebounding, you know, they're doing a good job. They're just not getting their putbacks. You know, second chance points, 10 to 7 right now just needs to improve upon that number and you're back in it and you have, might have the lead and you know just AJ Drager just shot well from beyond the arc for a little bit early on in that first half and just always have someone on him and Penn State Lehigh Valley definitely feeling the pressure after not having Nas Scott and Nas Ruhani in this one Devon Jones will inbound the ball to start off our second half. Brandywine up 36 to 27. So we will start the final 20 minutes of this game. And here comes Itiabe. Itiabe hands to Dunson. Dunson driving inside, puts it up, no good. Rebound to Copper. His 13th of the game. And he's been a force down low. Here's a drive inside. Shot by Akabu, no good. Here comes Jones. Dreger in the corner. Dunson, Itiabe, Hockbrock inside and scores. Colin Hockenbrock. Or in the double digits in his 11th point of the game for Penn State Brandywine. That pass out of bounds and will stay with Penn State Lehigh Valley, much to the dismay of Colin Hockenbrock, who thought it was going to go the other way. There's the kick over to the corner, the drive inside. And the bucket is good by Tommy Bennett, a senior guard from Bethlehem, dropping home the floater. There's a drive inside. Dunson shot no good. Copper with his 14th rebound. 
And here comes Lehigh Valley. Lewis. Inside the ball goes out of bounds. Substitution, Jaden Kelly in for A.J. Dreger. As a Lehigh Valley remains possession, 22 on the shot clock. Here's the kick out. Hubbard into the corner for Lewis. Arnell Lewis. Averaging 17 points a game this season. Hubbard looking to drive. Kicks out to Arnell, guarded by Jones. Lewis loses it out of bounds and will be Brandywine Ball, a turnover. Arnell Lewis, 13 points in the first half. Looking to build on that as Penn State Lehigh Valley needs a big second half showing for him. And A.J. Dreger comes back in for Itiabe. There's the re inbound from Jones. Itiabe off for Penn State Brandywine. So drive inside by Dunson. Dreger has it. Dreger pulls the three ball. Can't get it to go. Rebound goes to Penn State Lehigh Valley. And here comes Hubbard the other way. Driving hard and is fouled. Foul on A.J. Dreger, and that will send Raheem Hubbard to the line, the freshman from Federalsburg, Maryland, averaging five, six points, five rebounds a game this season. Knocks down the first free throw. And it is 38 to 30. Lehigh Valley draws within eight. Make that seven. As he knocks down the second free throw. 38-31, seven point lead under 18 minutes left in the game. Devon Jones gives over to Hockenbrock. Hockenbrock with a big spin and drive inside. Can't finish but is fouled. And two free throws coming up for Hockenbrock. Hockenbrock going to work on Hubbard. Nice spin move, drive inside, can't finish. But rewarded with two shots. First free throw is good. Lead goes back up to eight for Brandywine. And the second free throw for Colin Hockenbrock is good. And the lead up to nine for Brandywine, and here comes Arnell Lewis the other way. Kicks over to Bennett, who passes over to Akuba. Arnell Lewis looking to drive. Guarded by Drager. Lewis, Akuba driving. Pull up mid-range is short. Tracking down his own rebound. Fires to the corner, Lewis puts up a three. It's good! Arnell Lewis knocking it down from the corner. Stepping up in a big way for this Nittany, Penn State Lea Valley Nittany Lions squad. Hockenberg, Brandywine looking for a response. He drives and finishes. Colin Hockenbrock continuing to put his work in down in the paint. And a timeout, officials timeout is there is a Penn State Lehigh Valley player down in the corner. Yeah, 
Penn State Lehigh Valley just done a good job of trying to start quick this game. They just need someone someone with Arnell Lewis to step off offensively. But so far they've picked up the slack with Nas Scott and Nas Rihani out tonight. And that was Emmanuel Akubu. Bringing is Tommy Bennett with Arnell Lewis. Lewis has the top of the key. Bennett back to Lewis over to Hubbard. Looking the drive and is lost out of bounds. Shot clock expires, there will be a turnover. Coach Edwards not gonna be happy with that shot clock violation as he was yelling how much time that his squad had to get a shot up. And Ethiabi will bring it up for Brandywine. They lead 42 to 34 with 16 left in the half. Ethiabi hands off to Hockenbrock. Eichenbrock looking to drive into the corner. A three-pointer short for Mitiabe. Rebound goes to Penn State Lehigh Valley. Arnell Lewis will bring it up. Lewis gets a screen from Copper. Over a wide open three-point attempt. Is too strong from Josiah Jones. The kick inside to Copper. He puts it up, can't get it to go. Jones finds the offensive rebound, puts it back up. That won't go. And Brandywine has it. And a timeout called by Brandywine. think that Penn State Lehigh Valley just they just need to run one run they're back in it Colin absolutely and they can probably take control of it once this Penn State Lehigh Valley team has the momentum watch out because they're going to get their transition going and then they'll start clicking and they'll be able to overcome they've done a good job tonight making up the scoring and Nasri Hani and Nasri got toxins. so just look for that one run that's all they, that's all they need tonight and who, it's just that one run who's going to be that big player that provides that run though Right now they're searching for a lot of answers. I would just look for I would just look for someone like Arnell Lewis, he's contributed, you know. Raheem Hubbard, Tommy Bennett look to get going, you know. That's what I would look. Or Jaden Cooper again. You know, he had six like he had a good first half. Look for him to get go back to him inside. You know? One three point play. Creates a lot of momentum. Jaden Kelly will start off with it under the wing. Has that top of the key guarded by Bennett. He's up to Dunson who tries to drive. He hands off to Dylan Jones. Kelly inside the Jones. He is fouled by Copper. Devon Jones will inbound. Over to Jaden Kelly. Kelly gives a Dunson at the top of the key. Tim Mattern into the game for the first time on the wing. That ball's stolen. Here's Arnell Lewis. 
and one. And as you said, Derek, a three-point play creates momentum. Well, Br Lehigh Valley has a chance at a three-point play. Arnell Lewis putting it up through contact. So Arnell Lewis just going after the loose ball, going in transition. A lot of these really Penn State players, or Penn State Lehigh Valley players, are so good in transition on the men's side of it. I just, Arnell Lewis is one of the better ones, and I wish you were able to see how good Nas Scott and Nas Ruhani are in transition. Those guys are really incredible in the transition, but he's, Arnell Lewis is just as good, and like I mentioned, three-point play creates a lot of momentum, and all of a sudden, you know, you start gaining that confidence, it creates energy on the defense, to defensive side of things. Arnell Lewis cuts the lead to five. Maybe the start of the run for Lehigh Valley where they could try to take the lead. But it all starts with a stop. Say so trail by five. Here's a drive inside. Layup is no good from Jamar Wright. And here comes Arnell Lewis. Lehigh Valley trailing by five. He looks to drive inside, can't get it to go. Rebound goes to Dylan Jones and Tim Mattern will take it the other way. Gives it to Jaden Kelly. There's a Jamar right three, no good. And Copper can't track it down, it goes out of bounds. And Penn State Brandywine will retain possession in a fresh shot clock at 20 seconds. Some subs in. Hockenbrock back into the game for Brandywine. A.J. Dreger on the court. Dreger inbounds to Dunson. Dreger has it. Kelly. Kelly. Hockenbrock. Corner three. No good. Dunson tracks it down. And Brandywine resets. Inside, layup is no good. Rebound by Jones, here they come the other way. Arnell Lewis, five point deficit for Penn State Lehigh Valley. He drives inside, kicks it over. Jones has it on the wing. Out to Hubbard, driving on Hockenbrock. Hubbard, his J is good. Raheem Hubbard knocking it down. The 6'4 freshman from Fredericksburg, Maryland with the bucket. Got to stop here. You have all the momentum. Be smart on defense. Don't foul. You're doing a good job staying disciplined this quarter. Dreger knocks it down. As quickly as it was a one possession game, it's back to two. AJ Dreger with the three. They did a good job of limiting him late in that first half, but there he is again, AJ Dreger. Lewis gets the screen from Copper, kicks out. Jones, need it, can't get it to go. Hockenbrock wins it, 13 minutes left. Here comes Hockenbrock, trying to go in. Kicks to the corner, there's another three. Shot no good, rebound to Copper. That was Dylan Jones missing it. Here comes Arnell Lewis. He's guarded by Kelly, gets a screen from Copper, cuts between two defenders, driving inside, can't get it to go. And the rebound up and in, and it's Jaden Copper putting it home, and the and one for a possible three-point play. Arnell Lewis with a tough layup, can't get it that one to go. Copper through two defenders, putting it back up and in. Like you mentioned, following up through two defenders, you know, two players that got going, Got going early on in that first half, AJ Drager. Okay, Jake Hopper says, okay, I see you. And then he goes back to just game back going with a three point play. Looks like just cut the deficit to three points at the charity stripe. Jaden Copper, a double double tonight for Penn State Lehigh Valley, looking to cut the lead to one possession. They trail 45 to 41. He knocks it down, and it's a three point game again, and a timeout call by Penn State Lehigh Valley. Derek, we're about 12, 
43 away from the end of this game. Can I get some thoughts on how Le Penn State Lehigh Valley has responded? They responded good. You know, I like the energy they come out with, came out with coming out of the half. Just, just got to keep it going. Just got continue to do what you're on defense. You know, you're doing a good job of getting out on these shooters as well. That's what has really stood out to me. If you're Brandywine, you just got to get back to knocking down your shots. That's what they had a lot of success with when they were knocking down their shots and creating open looks for each other. Three-point game. Brandy Wine held a double-digit lead to start the second. Penn, St Penn State Lehigh Valley has come back, though, to make it a three-point game with 12.43 left in this one. Randy Wine will start with possession. Hockenbrook would will inbound to Javon Nelson. Nelson will be gives it back to Hockenbrook and will bring it up guarded by Hubbard. Hockenbrook, Dunson looking to drive. Dunson puts it up, can't get it to go. Rebound to Hubbard, and Lehigh Valley can tie with a three. And here comes Arnell Lewis looking to drive inside. Lewis's layup is no good. Copper with another offensive board. Back out to Lewis. He puts it up again. Can't get that one to go. And Hockenbrock comes down with it. And Penn State's two opportunities do not fall. And the drive inside. And the whistle is blown. And here comes Penn State Lehigh Valley. Another chance to tie with a three. Lewis will bring it up. Guarded by Kelly. 12 minutes left in the half. Lewis to his left. Fires over to Copper. A three for the tie. It's short. Rebound fought for and won by Kelly. Here he comes the other way. Jaden Kelly to Hockenbrock. Guarded by Copper. Hockenbrock to Jamar Wright. Wright, Hockenbrock, dot three, drives inside. There's a three, it's good. Dylan Jones with his third triple of the game gives Penn State Brandywine a 48 to 42 lead. Brandywine just gets a three whenever they need it. Penn State, Lehigh Valley just can't come within a tie game or even take the lead when they're within striking distance. Arnell Lewis guarded closely on the double team. Kicks it out to Jones, who looks to drive. Back to Lewis. He drives inside, trying to find Copper. It goes out of bounds. And will stay with Penn State Lehigh Valley with six on the shot clock and 11.03 on the game clock. AJ Dreger back into the game for Brandywine. Six on the shot clock, so a quick shot will be needed by Penn State Lehigh Valley. And Copper loses it out of bounds. And it will be Brandywine ball. 48-42, a little over 11 left in this one. We've had a great game so far. Expecting a great finish here. As here goes Jaden Kelly, guarded by Harlow. Hargrove. Hargrove hands it to Hockenbrock, driving inside. Hockenbrock gets fouled. And we'll go to the line. Good job, Uh, 
Hockenbrock knocks down the first one. Subs in for both teams. Emmanuel Akuba back into the game for the first time. Hockenbrock knocked down the first free throw. Chance to put Brandywine up 50 to 42 if he could knock down the second one. And he does not. 49-42, 10-48 left in this one. And Arnell Lewis will bring it up for Penn State Lehigh Valley, trying to cut into this deficit. And he puts up a mid-range. Hard defense, but no foul. And here comes Hockenbrock the other way. Back to Hockenbrock. Thought three for a moment was right. He drives inside with the left hand and finishes. You might want to time out if you can't get a bucket here. In the next chance we can call time out to Coach Edwards. Jamar Wright knocking down the layup, and it's a nine-point Penn State Brandywine lead. There's a three from Akuba. No good. And the foul called. Hard ball by Jaden Copper. Good to see him up. Fifty-one to forty-two. A little over ten remaining. As Derek mentioned, Copper took a hard foul. He's still in a little bit of pain. And Copper will come out. Jones will come in. Copper still in pain. It will be Penn State Lehigh Valley ball. He fires out to Hubbard. Back to Arnell Lewis, driving inside and can't finish. And rebound, 5 4 and 1 by Brandywine. Hockenbrock will bring it up. The drive inside from Ichiabe. Hockenbrock. Dreger. Ichiabe. Hands it off to Jamar Wright. Wright looking to drive inside. He gets by him and does not finish. Akuba with the rebound. Arnell Lewis brings it back. Akuba thought three for a moment. Kicks over. A triple. No good by Leland Hargrove. One smarter shots. I mean, I know Coach Ray Edwards shot it at, shot it at in a stoppage. Smarter shots from his team. Hockenbrock has the top of the key. Hockenbrock looking the drive. Kicks out to the corner. Back to Itiabe. Screen from Hockenbrock. Itiabe driving on Arnell Lewis. And he is fouled. Things are slipping away from this Penn State Lehigh Valley men's team. So that they were within striking distance and all of a sudden that brandy line run came right after the Drager three. Just as we were talking about Penn State Lehigh Valley going on a run of their own, brandy line responds as Penn State Lehigh Valley has gone cold. First free throw is no good from Yinks Itiabe. Sophomore guard from Brookhaven, Pennsylvania, averaging four points, two rebounds, making his fourth start of the season in his seventh game played. Knocks down the second one. It's a 10 point lead for Coach Nick Burke as he tries to coach his team to snap a two game losing skid and approve to three and five on the season. Meanwhile, on the other end, Coach Ray Edwards trying to get his team to 7-4 and four and also snap a two-game losing skid. That ball inside is too hot to handle and stolen away by Brandywine. Here comes Jaden Kelly the other way. 
and an offensive foul going the other way. Legal screen. Legal screen on Dylan Jones. Arnell Lewis will inbound to Leland Hargrove. Hargrove guarded by Dreger, looking to drive inside. He stops, trying to find somebody, kicks it out to Hubbard. Hubbard hands it to Hargrove. Over to Akuba, driving inside, can't get it to go. Hargrove trying to fight for it, can't win it. And here comes Kelly the other way. He's on a one on three, but he drives and finishes. Jaden Kelly, when the numbers favored Penn State Lehigh Valley, he finds a way to score. And that kick inside is stolen. And here comes Jaden Kelly. Brandywine leading by 12, looking to break this game away. Hockenbrock driving, loses it. Nice defense by Penn State Lehigh Valley. Here comes Arnell Lewis driving inside. His layup with the left hand is no good. Rebound to Dreger. And a foul called on Raheem Hubbard. I think you just need to re preach the message to Coach Ray Edwards in this huddle that we got to take smarter shots. We are They are rushing a lot of their shots the past few possessions, Colin. And it has just showed it's just not smart shots. And when you have your rushing shots and not have a smart shot, shots are not going to go, go down. Brandywine with a 12 point lead. As Derek said, smart shots from Penn State Lehigh Valley. Time is starting to dwindle down. About 7.30 left, so it's not completely out of the question. Coach Edwards and his senior leader, Arnell Lewis, needing to come up with something to get a lead and come away with a win. They sit at six and four, trying to avoid six and five. On the other side, Nick Burke, two and five, trying to get to three and five. 7.32 left. 12-point deficit for Penn State Lehigh Valley. The Nittany Lions needing a response. Possession will start with Hockenbrock as he gives it to Jaden Kelly who will bring it up. Kelly will take his time. Clock starting to become an issue, a factor here for Penn State Lehigh Valley. Dunson kicks over to Hockenbrock, over to Dreger. Dreger thought three for a moment and he travels. And it's a turnover, and Penn State Lehigh Valley gains possession back. Noble on for Hargrove. Need Arnell to really step back up. Whenever he was going, this team was going. And here's Arnell, and Hargrove does not check off. It's actually Neem Hubbard, a little miscommunication between the two. Driving inside is Akubu. Out to Hargrove. He has the top of the key guarded by... Dreger, Noble trying to drive inside, finds a wide open corner three, and Akubu knocks it down. That's 54 to 45. A huge three pointer from Emmanuel Akubu. And now Penn State Lehigh Valley looking for a stop. Brandy, Brandy Wine looking for an answer. The kick inside is stolen away, and here comes Lewis the other way. The kick over, Noble, Akubu, a corner triple. No good, rebound to Dreger. 6.30 left, here comes Dunson the other way. His layup is no good, nice defense by Copper. Lewis behind the back to get behind his defender. The drive over finds Hargrove, driving inside. He gets it to go. Leland Hargrove. Back. Makes it a seven point game. You have all the momentum, get a stop here. Reset on your, once you get a stop, reset, take a smart shot. And a timeout by Brandywine as Lehigh Valley went on a, has drawn the lead to seven. A three by Akubu and then a layup by Hargrove. Let's Penn State Lehigh Valley find themselves 
within striking distance. A touchdown away with under six to go. Coach Ray Edwards is just covering it and just continue to get stops on defense. Take those smart shots. When you take smart shots and good shots, they will just continue to fall down. The Brandy one says we got to take back control of this game. Coming out of this offense possession, you're drawing up. You're probably your, one of your better plays here with 556 or 557 remaining in this game. Penn State. Lehigh Valley Nittany Lions looking for another response, a stop and a score from their team, trying to claw back into this game ever so slightly. Time, as I mentioned before, starting to become a factor. Under six to go, so still some time to draw some clock out, make some big shots, but on the other end, Brandywine, they need to convert another basket. They need to continue to keep this game out of reach. Dunson will inbound to Kelly. Jaden Kelly has it guarded closely by Hargrove. Kelly looking to drive inside. Kelly driving, gives it off to Hockenbrock. Hockenbrock to Dunson, he wins it back. Dunson driving inside, kicks out, and he is fouled. Need to stop. Big stop here, White. 20 seconds. Here's a kick Defense. inside to the corner. Hockenbrock has it on the wing, Defense. looking to drive inside. Defense. Back out to the corner. Dunson Defense. driving on Copper. His jumper, no good. Rebound to Copper. And here comes Penn State Lehigh Valley. Arnell, Arnell Lewis trying to drive inside. Kicks out to the wing. Akubu inside the Copper. Tries to put up block by Hockenbrock, and he puts it back up, and he is fouled. Fighting through the adversity of being down by double digits late in the second half. Just a good job by Jaden Copper, getting back down low. I would just love to see him just live down there for the rest of the game on the offensive end. Jayden. There's very few players on that Penn State Brandywine team that can get down there and defend him without drawing a foul. Absolutely, as Jaden Copper, two huge free throws coming up. The freshman forward averaging 10 points, 10 rebounds a game in a double-double tonight. Can't convert the first. Penn State Lehigh Valley trails by seven with 5.22 remaining. Copper converts one of two and the lead to Windles. Six point Brandy wide lead. Trying to upset Penn State Lehigh Valley at home. Here's the kick over to Dreger. Dreger. Hockenbrock looking to drive. Hockenbrock to the hoop. Can't get it to go. Rebound to Copper. Here comes Penn State Lehigh Valley. Arnell Lewis has it behind the back to get away from Hockenbrock. The kick over. Noble looking to drive. Noble inside the Copper. He's fouled again. Told you. Get down low. And it was Noble who was fouled before the pass, so he will go to the line. And it will be one and one for Xavier Noble, the junior guard from Patterstown, New Jersey. He knocks down the first. That's a huge one to make. Five point game with 4.52 remaining. Penn State Lehigh Valley, a chance to draw it within four. And he cannot convert. Hockenbrock grabs the rebound. It's a five point deficit for Penn State Lehigh Valley. Here comes Jaden Kelly the other way. Kelly, guarded by Hargrove. Hargrove, hard defense and a foul called. Hard defense, but you just gotta be a little smarter in that situation if you're Hargrove. 
Coach Edwards instilling some wisdom in the young guard. So Jaden Kelly will shoot one and one. Jaden Kelly, junior guard from Philly, averaging eight points a game this season. He's played a big role in Brandywine's lead tonight. He can't convert. Akubu comes down with the rebound. And here they come the other way. Arnell Lewis to Hargrove. Back to Lewis. Five-point deficit, under 4.30 remaining. Lewis double coming, trying to get out of it. Lewis driving inside, kicks to Hargrove. A three. It's good! Leland Hargrove knocking down the triple. It's a two-point game. Makes up for the foul on the other end, and you mentioned to call it two-point game. Four minutes remaining. A two-point deficit for Penn State Lehigh Valley. Hockenbrock looking the drive, kicks out to the corner. There's a three, no good. Rebound tracked down by Dreger. Dreger looking the drive, he'll stop. He kicks out to Dunson on the wing. Coach Edwards telling his team to sit. Dunson under 10 on the shot clock. Hockenbrock cut Dunson in the corner. There's a triple, no good. Rebound. And a foul call. And it will be Penn State Lehigh Valley's ball. A chance to tie it with the one and one. Emmanuel Akubu just has been playing hard all night long. Two huge free throws, a chance to tie. Akubu has knocked down some big shots tonight for Penn State Lehigh Valley. And he cannot convert. And Brandywine avoids a tie as they continue with the lead. Here comes Dunson, has the top of the key, guarded by Copper. Dunson looking to drive. And the whistle is blown. And Coach Edwards cannot believe it. And a huge call at this stage of the game. And Dunson will shoot two free throws. Dunson knocks down the first one. It's a three-point game. Brandywine leading by a triple. 55-52, 3.22 left in the half. A chance to go up four. Dunson knocked down the first one. His second free throw is good, and it's a two-possession game. Middle e, middle e. And here comes Arnell Lewis. 3.17 left on the clock. Lewis. Gets a screen from Copper. Here comes the double. Trying to go inside the Copper who has it. He puts it up and in. Jaden Copper, it's a two point game. And here comes Hockenbrock on the other side. Pass over to Jamar Wright. Dunson has it top of the key. Guarded by Copper. Wright, guarded by Lewis. Passes over to Dunson, looking to drive. His pull-up jumper, too strong. Rebound to Itiabe. He can't make it, get it to go. Arnell Lewis comes down with it. 2.30 remaining in the game. Smart shot right here. Tie it up. Lehigh Valley trails shot. by two. A chance to take the lead with a three. Derek calls for a smart shot. So maybe a three not in order. Here's Hargrove. Akubu driving. He is fouled. And Akubu will go to the line. Coach Burke not happy with the call at this stage in the game. Emmanuel Akubu shooting two. 
Akubu will shoot two here and the biggest stage of the game. The two biggest free throws of the game. Akubu knocks in the first, and we have ourselves a one-point game, Derek, with 2.11 left. Exciting back and forth. This Penn State Lehigh Valley team has been resilient all night. They battled through a lot of big deficits, most biggest one, 12 points tonight. And he knocks down both Emmanuel Akubu, the senior, making his first start of the season has tied it with 2.11 left. And Brandywine, a 12 point lead at one point this half, is now tied. Penn State Lehigh Valley missing their two leading scores. Have found a way to climb back into this game. Hockenbrock has it guarded by Hubbard. Dunson looking to drive on Hubbard, puts it up and in. And a timeout is called. And Dunson, with a minute 49 left, flips the layup up and in to give Brandywine the lead. 58 to 56, 149 left. Lehigh Valley will have the ball out of the break. Big offensive possession here. I think you're trying up your best play, one of your better plays. Just a matter of who you want to go to with the ball, Colin. Are you going to go with Arnell Lewis? Are you going to go with Jaden Cooper inside? Or do you go in with someone like Emmanuel Akubu or Raheem Hubbard? Emmanuel Akubu has knocked down some big plays late in this game. But there's so many options for Penn State Lehigh Valley. It's who they choose to give the rock to. And this game has turned out to be a great one so far. <laughs> 58 to 56, the deficit for Penn State Lehigh Valley as they will start with the ball. 149 left in this one. Coach Edwards goes with Hargrove, Hubbard, Akubu, Lewis, and Copper. Coach Burke goes with Dreger, Hockenbrock, Kelly, Wright, and Dunson. Lewis, guarded by Kelly. Lewis, the double comes, kicks to Hubbard. Hubbard has it on the wing, looking to drive inside. Hubbard back out, Akubu, a three for the lead. It's no good, rebound goes to Brandywine. And Kelly will bring it up. Need a stop. Dunson looking to drive to Hockenberg. Dunson driving on Copper. Dunson puts it up. No good. Akubu Ooh, loses it out of bounds. Back. And Penn State Brandywine just gets a big break. And that gives him a fresh shot clock too, Colin. Emmanuel Akubu and Jadion Cooper, Copper, both fighting down low for it. And Brandywine with 115 left in this game will get 20 fresh seconds on the shot clock. Hey, best possession here, White. We gotta go, White. Good, huh? Kelly to inbound. Fires it to Dunson. Dunson, top of the key. Kelly. Driving, turns, Kelly to Dunson. Outside to Dreger, back to Kelly. Kelly looking to drive, he falls on the ground. And a foul on Penn State Lehigh Valley with 102 left in the game. And Jaden Kelly will go to the line. Junior guard from Philly, averaging eight points, five rebounds. Has knocked down some big free throws late in this one. The score, 58-56. Kelly, a chance to expand on that.
First free throw is good. Hey, box out, White. And Kelly had a chance to make this a two point game with 101 left. Kelly can't get it to go, it's a three point game. Here comes Copper, under a minute remaining. Here in this one from Lees Hall on the campus of Cedar Crest College. And a defensive foul on Jamal Wright. Two and five, Penn State Brandywine trying to come away with a big time win over six and four, Penn State Lehigh Valley. You need to not both these down if you are now Lewis. Arnell Lewis, 53.6 seconds left. First one is no good. And a big free throw coming up here with 53 and some change left in this one. And he knocks down the second one. He goes one of two from the line and a timeout called by Penn State Lehigh Valley with 53.6 left in this one. Fifty-nine, fifty-seven. On a cold and chilly Saturday night here in Cedar, here in Cedar Crest. Just think you just need to stay disciplined right now too on defense. On defense, you need your best defensive possession. a handful of stops left for both teams where the clock is able to be stopped. But that being said, only a handful of possessions left for both teams. Brandy Wine will start with possession here. 53.6 left in the game. Time possession. What kind of defensive team are you? Here comes Brandywine the other way. Itiabe will bring it up. Has Hockenbrock to his left. Goes to Dunson who was on his right. Dunson looking to drive. Gives it to Hockenbrock. 40 seconds left on the clock. Itiabe. Dunson on Copper. Big shot. Dunson doesn't shoot it, Kelly has it. Seven on the shot clock, he drives, puts it up, it's no good. Fighting for Itiabe, comes away with it. Five seconds to separate the shot and the game clock. Dunson has it. He gets fouled. And Arnell Lewis takes a dive into the stands. Six seconds separate the shot and the game clock. Ten on the shot clock. Dunson will shoot. He will shoot two here because of the double bonus. Pray for a miss right now for at least one of these. But you still have some timeouts in Penn State Lehigh Valley. Preferably a miss on the first one. Then second one able to Get set and ready. Coach Nick Burke will talk over with his crew that's not at the free throw line. Hockenbrock, Dreger, Itiabe, and Kelly. Two point lead. He knocks down the first one. It's a three point game, 60 to 57. 16.3, the shot clock has gone dark. If he makes this, you gotta be thinking three right off the rip. He knocks it down. A huge free throw, four point game. 
Here comes Arnell Lewis the other way. They'll take a quick timeout with 12 and a half left. Best, you want your best three point, three ball play right now. And this one has come down to the wire. matter who you're going to go to with this ball with this three ball because you need one you got to be thinking three here here we go 12 and some change four point game 57 61 Penn State trails and need of a big play There's a kick to Arnell Lewis, gives it to Akubo. Ar Arnell Lewis looking to drive inside the Copper. They elect to go for two, and Copper drops it home. And another timeout called. 5.6 remaining, and it's 61 to 59. Copper dropping home a huge bucket. That might be playing for the miss on one of these three throws, since you still have another timeout or two left. So. You foul, you call timeout, you're praying for a miss. Both coaches, defensive game plan for Coach Edwards, offensive game plan for Coach Burke. Penn State Lehigh Valley, story of this game, missing their two leading scorers. 61 to 59, 5.6 remaining. Drager, Dunson, Hockenbrook, Kelly, and Etiabe on the court for Penn State Brandywine. Hargro, Akubu, Copper, Lewis, and Josiah Jones for Penn State Lehigh Valley. Looking for anything at all. Finds Hockenbrook and he is fouled. 4.3 left. And a great job by Penn State Lehigh Valley to take away many of the passing leads, sending Hockenbrook to the line. And Hubbard will go to check in as he will sit at the scorer's table. Big free throws from Hockenbrock. Could put this one away. He misses the first one. The score is a two point game. 4.3 remaining. Two timeouts remaining for Penn State Lehigh Valley. Jones will come off. He knocks down the second Dave one. Nate. Something on the floor that was called. He thought Coach Edwards, Coach Ray Edwards thought he called the timeout there when they already inbounded the ball. It's a big break. Ball will be on the opposite baseline. 4.3, three point game. A chance to tie. In need of a big bucket. We've had ourselves a great game so far, Derek. I know that you probably have a lot of them, but can I get some thoughts? It's back and forth, you know, it's just a matter of your 
you have to press here if you're Penn State Lehigh Valley. You have to get up the ball probably to someone like Mahim maybe, you know, or excuse me, Manuel, someone like that. It's just you're gonna have to you're gonna be uncomfortable trying to get this three point up. I mean there's four point three seconds and I think Penn State Brandywine's gonna press. Maybe if they only had a little bit more less time, they wouldn't press, try not to draw a foul, but a foul here might be smart to send two free throws in a three point game. Instead of Possibly. allowing a three point opportunity. Possibly, but then you cut the lead to two, and then all you're, you're play, basically shooting the foul. You're just repeating the process. Here we go. Akubu to Hubbard. Back to Akubu. Copper loses it, and the game is over. Tough way and tough break for Penn State Lehigh Valley. Penn State Brandywine holds on for the win. The final play to Jaden Copper, as he could not hold on to it, he turns it over and the game ends. Penn State Brandywine comes away with a huge victory. AJ Dreger, Colin Hockenbrock, Dylan Jones, Jonta Dunson all come through huge in this victory for Penn State Brandywine. And we will send it to our man, Derek Moore. Down here with Coach Ray Edwards. Coach, tough way to lose. What are some overall thoughts? Well, I think we just learned a lot about a lot of guys who didn't see it a lot of time earlier in the year, and they showed some resilience. Be down 16 points or so and make a comeback and get it to that final possession. I'm proud of them. I don't believe in good losses. I don't think there's anything like that, but I think some of our younger guys did learn that they can kind of still shine in the bigger moments. How do you guys bounce back coming out of break? Well, it's a long time off, right? So we got two to three weeks before we can get back to practice. I believe we come back on the 28th. So it's a lot of time kind of deep and press, get healthy. You guys really just focus on score, and we'll be ready to rock in a couple of weeks. Good luck the rest of the way, Coach. Appreciate it. Colin, back to you. Thank you, Derek, for that interview. Tough loss for Penn State Lehigh Valley as they made a great comeback to be back into this game as they tied it at one point but just could not come away with the victory. And Penn State, Brandywine holds on. Derek, can I get some final thoughts from you, you know, on I this think, one? I think Coach Edwards really said it best. You know, guys stepping in roles that they really weren't used to and some inexperience showed, you know, tonight against a team that had a lot was pretty fully healthy and had all of their guys in big moments you know he didn't believe, like he said i think he summed it up perfectly there's no such thing as good losses but a lot of guys gained valuable experience and showed a lot of resiliency that's for sure and once again the final score here is P penn state brandywine 62 penn state lehigh valley 59 from our partner derek moore al de carlo and dave micah jr and for our producer sean and riley a big special thanks to everyone involved here today including the athletic director, Rich Fatzinger. And I'm Colin Strella signing off for Penn State Lehigh Valley Athletics presented by the11sports.com. <laughs>